gunning sights, starting my sight in the direction that I'm going to cut. Um, I'm going to lay this tree right between these two right here, right through here. as I could I used that two inch uh, holding wood and you can see the tree still started to get away from me but even though it started to get away from me I stayed in there as long as I could to try and get more holding wood I don't know what it is but these trees are moving a lot quicker here um, basically did a redirect didn't make a difference 
um, that I was off. Um, so I just, I stayed in my same dog in point. It didn't move my dog in point at all. And then just redirected. And then as far as the levelness of my back cut, you know, sometimes when you're on these slopes and stuff, and you try to, you try to, you try to go for good alignment. Um, Vince, he, he thought, hey, you know what? You're just a little bit low. So I took his advice on it because to have to travel around, plus we had this, we had a little bit of a protrusion right here where I couldn't see this opposite side. But also at the same time, if you guys watch while I was cutting, I looked at my gunning sights, exactly where I was going. I wanted to go right through this hole, right where these trees, right where those two trees were at. I don't call it a perfect stump, but this is a stump that has got good holding wood, nice level back cut, um, other than this little little offset here. Guys, try to try to mimic. Um, and then, and then the other thing that you guys will see me do as I'm cutting, I rattle my saw. You'll hear this. I'm actually throwing back and moving forward at the same time. I'm clearing, I'm clearing debris out because sometimes what happens is as you're cutting, um, you'll you'll get in a, uh, uh, you'll it'll start to bind because you get debris, a lot of debris built up there. So I actually, I actually rock my saw a little bit. As I'm, as I'm, as I'm cutting, I, I kind of vibrate it a little bit. I move forward and then I, and I'm throwing debris back, but I, I'm doing it so quick with a wrist action that you can't, it doesn't look like much. It just, it looks like a little bit of, like I'm, like I'm vibrating it back and forth. But, um, so, uh, the main thing is, is you guys want to look for a nice level cut, get in there and, and balance it you know use use your arms and then dog placement dog placement is key because dog placement short sections of dog placement it keeps that bar level yep any uh any questions at all anything <clears throat> okay who's ready to cut